Hello, my name is Dr. Holmes, and if you are watching this video, you are very likely a beginning band student wanting to learn how to hold your French horn correctly. Well, you're in luck because today in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways of holding your French horn if you are a beginning band student. So assuming that you already have your French horn out of its case and you have the mouthpiece in the lead pipe, you can go ahead and grab your French horn and put it in your lap. The bell, or this big flared end, goes off to the right. This is my right hand, this is my left hand, so the bell is off to the right. And the keys are going to be off to the left. Go ahead and wrap your left hand around the keys. So you may or may not have a trigger, but your thumb is going to go up here on the top. Your three fingers are going to wiggle on the three levers that control the valves, and then your pinky is going to go in that pinky ring that faces down. So your left hand is all set up, ready to go. Your right hand is going to go on the bell, on the edge, way out here. Whenever you go to a professional uh, or an advanced student playing position, it's actually going to be up in here. But for now, you're going to have it on the outside. Not down here, not up here, not up in here. On the outside, that's going to give you a lot of stability whenever you go to hold your horn. So this is your resting position, except that I am a full grown adult and it looks very comfortable for me to hold the horn this way. You very likely look <laughs> like this, holding your French horn, and that's totally okay. We are going to teach you exactly how to hold this thing correctly, even though the French horn looks massive on you right now. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do to learn our two ways of holding our French horn is to orient ourselves with how to move this thing around. So, the first thing that I want you to do is to pick it up off your legs and you're gonna act like this is the steering wheel to a real big bus. And you're gonna turn it to the right and turn it to the left. And we're just rocking the boat, going back and forth, right and left, and right and left. Uh, just like this. Be sure you're not wibbling and wobbling around. You're just going left and right and left and right. And now, poof, I'm back to resting position. The next thing we're going to do is some roly polies. You're going to keep the horn touching your legs the entire time. And we're going to do a roly poly over to the left and a roly poly over to the right. And a roly poly over to the left and over to the right. Roly poly over this way and a roly poly over this way and back to resting position. The next move that I got for you is you're going to pick your horn straight up again. We're not doing the bus this time. Instead, we're going to award you with the mouthpiece and back away from you. Point the mouthpiece towards me, point the mouthpiece towards you or backwards, whichever way that works for you. Front and back or back and front and back, front, back and front going this way and that way and then we're going back to resting position okay really quickly let's review our three moves so first steering wheel of a bus we're going right and left and right and left now roly polies back to resting position and left and right and left and right just like that now pick it back up and we're going towards me towards you towards me towards you and back to resting position. To start moving into our French horn posture, the way that you hold the horn, I want you to put the bell, this big flared in, the edge of it is gonna go right on top of your right leg. So go ahead and do that. Make sure that the bell is right on top of your right leg. This looks really comfortable for me. Again, you probably look like this, and that's totally okay. You're gonna hold the horn over here. And now we're going to do roly polies again over to the right. But now look, the tip of the horn is right on its tip top, right at the bottom. And back over into the left. Don't drop your horn. And to the right, it's going to pick way up and tip over this way. Roly poly to the right and back to the left. Don't drop your horn. And over to the right. Notice that the bell is not slipping off over here. It's not a regular roly poly. I have it right on top of my leg. And back over to the left, still holding it on this outside edge, putting it back. That rim of the bell is right on top of your right leg and roly poly over to the right. Just a few more of these over to the left and over to the right. This may be really challenging if you are really small. They may look, look just like this and that is totally okay. This is meant for kids. Okay, so now we're going to keep our bell on top of our right leg. But 
we're gonna go ahead and shift into the first way that we can hold our horn. So you're gonna keep your left leg facing straight towards me, straight out in front of you. Your right leg is gonna go straight out towards this wall. So if you're watching this video, go ahead and point your right finger all the way over to the wall that's next to you. Now make your knee go shoop, straight over there. Kick this out of the way. All right. So your left leg is straight out in front of you. You got this 90 degree business going on. Go ahead and move the bell of your horn all the way back over to your leg. Again, you probably look like this because you are a little bitty kid and that's totally okay. So the bell is gonna be on that right leg. Now, you're going to do another roly poly over to the right. So you're looking like this and a roly poly over to the right and back down. A roly poly over to the right. Notice that the edge of the bell, it's not slipping off like this. That's not what we're doing. Keeping it up on the edge, the left hand will probably be up around your face and that's totally okay and back down. And a roly poly, back down. Some of you, if you are kind of a taller student, will be looking more like this as you do your roly poly. So we're gonna go ahead and get you set up. Go ahead and do a roly poly over to the right. Then we're gonna use our other move, pivot towards you. So watch that one more time. My bell is sitting on top of my leg, pretty close towards my knee. We're doing a roly poly over to the right. My mouthpiece is facing straight towards the wall. Now my mouthpiece is gonna go boink, straight towards my face. My left arm is way up off my lap. Some of you may be looking like this. That's totally okay. See if you can flip that thing around so that your left hand is almost out in front of you. The lead pipe, this long thing that comes off with the horn and you stick the mouthpiece in, this lead pipe is gonna be in the center of your chest. If it's way over here, again, roly poly first, then pivot towards you. So watch that one more time. Our left leg is straight out in front of you. Your right leg is towards the wall. Your bell is sitting on top of your right leg. Roly poly over and pivot toward you. So some of you are already with your French horn posture and your right hand is still holding that bell way out here. So you look like this and you are all set up, ready to go. This is, I'm like way too short for this or way too tall for this rather. Um, but some of you, this hits you just perfectly. However, some others of you are probably looking like this because you were itty bitty and that is totally okay. What I want you to do is experiment with your placement of your bell on your leg. Notice that as you go out, the mouthpiece can come down. As you come in, the mouthpiece will go up. So if you find yourself at this position and you're reaching up really tall, you're trying to get to the mouthpiece like this, or you're feeling like you're having to go over to the side like this, come back to center. See if you can move the bell out down your leg and that's gonna bring that mouthpiece down. If you're on the opposite and that mouthpiece is like way down here like this, bring the bell towards your stomach on your leg. It's still sitting right on top of my leg, boink, like so. And that'll bring it up. So watch that action from this angle. If I bring it out, the mouthpiece goes down. So if you're super short like that, that might be better for you. And then if you're super tall, bringing the horn back towards you. And this knee is facing out that way the whole time. Whoosh. Okay, so if you just tried all of this and nothing is working out for you, you cannot figure out how to get the horn low enough for because you were so short, there is still another way to hold the French horn that is still really useful. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your legs right back in front of you, go to your resting position. So your left hand is on the keys, your right hand is over here on the bell. You're gonna scoot your booty all the way over to the left side of your chair. So go ahead and scoot and scoot and scoot. And you won't look like you're about to fall off the chair like I am because you're probably really little like this. Then put the right edge of this bell, the bottom edge of your bell, on the chair, roly poly over, and flip it towards you. I can't do this because I am a full grown man. However, if you need this option, you're probably really little and this probably feels way better to you. So you probably look something like this now. So the mouthpiece again is in the middle of your chest. You're not reaching any, du any direction for the mouthpiece. 
that's coming straight towards your mouth and you can go up the chair if you need it to be lower still and you can go down if you need the mouthpiece to come up a little bit. Watch it from this angle so that it's, it's the bell is going to be sitting on the chair beside you. If I scoot it up, the mouthpiece comes down from really, really, really short. If I scoot it back towards my back, it's going to come up a little bit. So those are the two ways that you can hold your French horn as a beginner. Remember to go through your beginning exercises of going back and forth, up and down, and roly pulling in so that you kind of orient yourself with how to move the French horn. Left leg straight in front of you, right leg straight towards the wall. Put the right bell, the bell, the bottom edge right on top of your right leg. Roly poly over, pivot towards you so you look like this. And then you can adjust the angle Going out is going to bring the mouthpiece down. Coming in is going to bring it up. Or if you need to be on the chair, all the way over to the left side, on the chair, and coming out is going to, coming in towards your back is going to bring the mouthpiece up. And coming out is going to make the mouthpiece go down. So that's two ways of holding your French horn as a beginner. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below this video. Go forth, be awesome, and happy practicing! Whee!